what's up guys welcome back or to the channel and I know I've been gone for a little bit but it is the new year so happy new year guys this is my first video in the new year so I had to say that but we are back at it again we're having fun with the Jeep and today is no different as you guys can tell uh, we got a little bit of snow the other day and about two days ago we had nothing we had no snow at all so uh, it dumped about two feet overnight and yeah that was quite a bit of snow for us uh, a lot of people weren't ready a lot of people are still stuck as you can see there's still some vehicles that haven't moved i'll show you guys a couple more on the street that are actually really snowed in but um yeah luckily we had our jeep downstairs so it didn't get covered in snow it is still covered in mud but hopefully we can go and play in the snow right now and kind of scrub a little bit of that off and then once the snow melts and the salt is on there we'll wash the salt off so that it doesn't rust but the task at hand I've had these tires for about a year now and they've been doing great. I honestly have had nothing really bad to say about them, but it is my first real snowfall and my first big snowfall with these tires. So let's go, let's have a little fun, let's test them out and then I'll give you guys my review of how they perform in sand, mud, Let's go. So coming up right here, you'll see a couple cars are still pretty snowed in. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, guys are pretty snowed in still and it's been two days it didn't snow last night it snowed the night before so you guys can tell just how much snowfall we got and unfortunately I wasn't able to make a video the day that it fell just because uh, circumstances things didn't line up and I got home and it was already dark but we are out here today but uh, honestly it was pretty nuts people were not ready I don't know how they weren't ready we live in Canada people just honestly I don't know they they were forecasting it for like a week people knew it was coming and then everybody still kind of shit themselves when it happened so for anybody wondering I am running a super swamper TRX US or Truxis or however you want to word it or pronounce it they are 33 by 12.5 by 15 but they do measure out quite large so if you're in the market for these tires or you're looking to pick up some super swampers just know that they are true to size they do measure out so anybody that has like 35s or something similar they pretty much measure out to almost 35 when i pull up to my buddies that have 35s they're roughly the same size they measure out to 34 when i actually take a measuring tape and yeah so definitely be ready for that make sure that you know what you're getting into because sometimes you might not have the clearance or whatever the issue is so just know that they do measure out some tires don't measure out some tires say 33 and they measure out to a 32 these ones actually measure out bigger so just so you guys know they're not actually cheating you on the size and yeah they're actually really uh deep treads on these tires too compared to a lot of other mud terrains i've seen and i'll pull over in a second let's go find some snow and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about so they plowed over here as you guys can tell but over there, I don't think they did. And I'm pretty sure that that's gravel over there. Now, I don't know how stuck we're going to get or uh, what the case is. So, I think we're not going to really go too far in here. Let's see.
they do pretty damn good and let me show you guys just how deep that actually is i'm gonna shut it off here because we got to put it in gear or she's gonna roll e-brake ain't too strong but uh i think she did pretty good like if you guys take a look here the snow for the most part is pretty much like just around the foot so not too bad not too shabby as you can see we made it in rear wheel drive up to about that point right there then we kicked it into four wheel did a little bit of a spin and we made it out so not too bad at all they actually do pretty good uh let's go through there a little bit more and i'll do a little bit more deep snow testing for you guys and then i'll give you guys my full review and then we'll have a little bit of fun Honestly, drives through here like butter. It's not hesitating. I don't really feel like I'm spinning too much. Feels pretty good. Let's spin it around, give a little gas. There we are. problem at all I was actually quite surprised right there and I have used these tires in a 31 in the deep snow before and they did amazing I've never actually used a fresh pair sorry you guys are still a little wet there so I've never actually used a brand new fresh set like I have now they are pretty much brand new they've got one season on them or about 10,000 kilometers 80% of that was off-road so I guess they are pretty fresh. I would say that they are pretty damn close to being new still. There are a few chunks missing because I have put these things through the ringer. You can see there's a bit of chipping and chunking. Some spots are worse than others, like this one. But honestly, it's not affecting the actual performance of the tire. The tires work great. As you can see, they go through this stuff no problem at all. and it's pretty deep. I was actually pretty surprised that it went through there with ease like that. I thought I would spin a little bit more, but uh, yeah, this thing's a beast. So let's get to the review. The first point on the review, on road. How do they perform on pavement and on road and on the highway? Surprisingly enough, they are very quiet. These are probably the quietest mud tires that I've heard or I've experienced. A lot of my friends have different mud terrains from BFs to, uh, I don't know, I, honestly, I'm a super swamper guy, so I don't really look at too, other, too many other brands, but I know that a lot of guys have BFs. Uh, I think a few of my friends run uh, Kumos, and I think a couple of my other friends also run uh, Trail Grapplers. So let's get right to it and let's get to the review. My first point on my review is going to be how they perform on road, on pavement and on the highway. These tires are super quiet. I honestly cannot convey to you how quiet they are. They are basically, you wouldn't know you had mud tires. That's the best way to put it. They perform amazing in the sense that you don't really feel like you're driving a mud tire. They stick to the road really well in dry dry conditions <laughs> in wet conditions they're kind of slidey they're not the best i'm not gonna lie they don't really grip as well as they should even though they do have the siping as you can see there is all kinds of siping all along here so that they do perform better in the snow and they do perform really well in the snow they don't perform great on wet pavement though when you're on the highway they don't really grab too many different potholes and too many inconsistencies in the road they don't kind of pull you to the left or to the right too much unless you have low tire pressure if you have low tire pressure in one of them that's when you're going to start feeling it pull you to one side or the other other than that they are actually really really good at on-road performance they're pretty quiet 
I don't really have any issues with braking. I don't have any issues with cornering or going around turns or anything like that. They grip really well. They hold onto the road really well. But the only thing is you have to take it easy in the rain. They don't grip great in the rain. They do slide. You will break your tires loose if you give a little bit too much throttle. So that's one thing to consider. One thing to basically keep in mind when you're driving with these tires. I personally only drive to and from trails. I don't really drive around to do groceries or anything. I have a daily driver. So for me, it's not a concern, but if you're daily driving on these tires, it is something that you should just be aware of. They are a little bit more slidey and a little bit less grippy in the rain than other tires that I've experienced. So overall, on-road performance is great. They actually drive really well on the pavement, uh, on the highway, they're quiet. I don't have any kind of uh, complaints or anything bad to say about them on road and the next thing I'm going to talk about is mud. We got ourselves a little bit stuck as you can see uh, yeah we're we're in here. I did not expect this to happen. And in the mud they actually do great. This is where the tires really shine. These things perform amazing. They pretty much go through any kind of mud hole unless you get it like up to the door yeah I've done that and uh, definitely you won't drive out of that but I don't know too many tires that will uh, depending on what kind of mud it is if it's a little bit less thick then you'll definitely be able to kind of weasel your way out but uh, it all depends it all depends on the situation but regular mud every single everyday trails uh, if you've got just uh, mud holes that are a foot deep or two feet deep not a problem you can drive through those like like butter as you can see we drove through the snow pretty much like butter it didn't really spin same thing in the mud they don't really spin they kind of just work their way through and they power their way through and they are really well uh, they are really well they are really good in the mud and they perform really well and honestly i don't think i would choose a different tire over them if i was looking at something that was going to be better in the mud and rock on the rock in the wet they're not the best they do slide around a lot and they don't grip as well as they should but when it is dry these things are sticky and if you guys have ever uh, experienced somebody that has sticky tires like actual sticky rock crawler tires these perform almost as well as those i'm actually really surprised a lot of my friends that go over obstacles that have bigger tires than me sometimes don't make it and I'll crawl up it without spinning a tire once with basically two-wheel drive because I have open diffs still. I know, I need to get lockers. But it powers its way up those rocks like nobody's business. It honestly, it, it grips like nothing. Those tires are amazing and everybody always tells me, damn, how do you make it up all that stuff? And I always tell them, it's the tires. It honestly is. And they do really well on rock in the dry. In the wet, they're not that great. Like I said, on, even on wet pavement, they're not that great. But when it's dry, these things grip like bubble gum. Like they are amazing, especially when you air them down. I usually air down to around 10 PSI, 10 to 12, and they, they do great. They don't really sit as saggy and as wide and bulky as other tires because the sidewall is really stiff, but they still wrap themselves around rocks really well. And they actually perform really, really well on dry rock. And yeah, like I said, I don't think I would pick a different tire over performance wise. I think that these perform as well as they can on rock uh, and in the mud. So you, do, you have the best of both worlds. If you're a mud guy or if you're a rock guy or if you do different types of trails like me, then you're definitely going to be well equipped for both. Now, sand performance. These things actually do really well in the sand. Air them down a bit, like I said, to about 10 or 12 PSI. And they sit pretty damn well, uh, they, they're wide, they flatten themselves out nice, not too much, like I said the sidewall is really stiff, so they don't really sag too much, but they do kind of wrap themselves around obstacles. So when you're on the sand, they float over the sand really well, they do have a good flotation. Uh, obviously the TJ isn't very heavy, it's a nice little Jeep, but they do give me good flotation and I'm sure that if you had a bigger vehicle, they would give you good flotation as well. The reason that my sidewall doesn't sag or doesn't go down as much when I air down is because these are made for a heavier vehicle. They can take a vehicle that is built a little bit bigger, like a pickup truck. Uh, if you look at the load range, the load range is C. So these aren't gonna be like towing tires, but you can definitely go out there and slap these on your pickup truck, your SUV, your forerunners, uh, whatever you may want, I'm pretty sure these will handle it. Let's shut my lights off here before it doesn't want to start up on me. 
And last but not least, performance in the snow. As you guys just saw, they perform great in the snow. I have taken these on trails in the snow and gone off-roading, and that was when I had these in a 31. I actually bought these used in a 31-inch size before I had my 33s and my lift, and they performed amazing. They actually did really well in the snow. They didn't skip a beat. They did slide a little bit here and there on the ice, but that's to be expected. What can you really do when you're on ice? But they climb well in the snow. They dig in. Like I said, the siping is really nice. They are made to be thrown in the snow, thrown in the mud. And let me see if I can find the snow rating for you guys on here. And let's see how many peaks it is. I don't believe it's a three peak tire. I believe this is just a mud terrain that's rated for snow as well. But let's see on the back. It should be a little bit easier to tell. Uh, not really. It's pretty filthy back here. But um, yeah, this is definitely a mud and snow as you guys can see right there but it is not a three peak so it is not the best for snow like it's not the uh the best rated for snow but as you guys can see right there it does great and i'm sitting at about 27 psi i know that's a little bit low or sounds a little bit low but if i put it any higher then i'm only going to be riding on this section of tread right here the reason being is my vehicle isn't that heavy. If I had a heavier vehicle, I could put these up to a 33, 35. When I ride around at 33 or 35, they are very harsh, they're very lumpy, they don't perform well because they are overinflated. Oh, there's not enough weight on them, I should say. They're not overinflated, there's just not enough weight on them. So deflating them to get them to the right traction and get them to the right point for your vehicle is very important. And one quick way you guys can do that is the chalk test. And if you don't know what the chalk test is, is once you have your tires on, go and put a little bit of chalk on your actual driveway and drive over the chalk. Like paint a line or draw a line and make sure it's nice and thick. And drive over that chalk line and take a look at your tire tread and see which points of the tire are touching and which points of the tire are actually getting chalk on them. The other way of doing the chalk test is putting the chalk on your tire, putting a piece of paper down and driving over that. That way works great as well. Honestly, both ways work great. It all depends on which way you want to do it. Personally, I like the first way because that way I can see what the tire picks up instead of dust and stuff falling off of the tire onto the paper, but you can do it both ways. That's going to pretty much about cover it for the tires. I'm going to definitely recommend these tires. Uh, I highly recommend these tires. Personally, for myself, if I was to go buy a different vehicle or if I had another off-road vehicle that I had to put some mud tires on, this would be my first choice, 100%. 110% this would be my first choice. These things are amazing. I can't say anything bad about them except for how they drive in the wet. But like I said, I don't really drive my vehicle as a daily driver, so that's not a concern to me. And yeah, if I was to give these tires a rating out of 10, I would give them a nine out of 10. Maybe an 8.5 because they don't they aren't perfect in the rain. But like I said, off-road, 10 out of 10. On mud, 10 out of 10. Snow, like 8 out of 10 because nothing's perfect in the snow. You're still going to get stuck eventually. And I am uh, going to go right now and see. And hopefully we don't get stuck. Hopefully we don't have to pull out the winch. But there is a few trees around if we do have to pull out the winch. So let's go and let's have a little bit of fun.
not gonna lie it's a little bit thick to drift in uh, I tried my best but uh, as you guys can see there was a lot of axle hopping and I don't want to break anything so we're gonna kind of just leave it for there and hopefully we can come back in a few days it's supposed to actually snow tonight so hopefully we get a nice coating that we can come back and play a little bit in and do a little bit of spin class but uh when it's one foot deep it's a little bit hard to drift in <laughs> so uh, i think we're gonna come back next time because i don't want to break anything as you guys saw the axle started to hop a little bit there and that's no bueno one thing though is they throw a lot of water and a lot of mud if you guys can see my window here my window there my windshield all over here they th love to throw mud and since you guys can see the streets are super wet today because it's actually in the positives and it is melting it is throwing all kinds of water at me I'll show you guys through this puddle right here it's not even a puddle but look at this I hope the camera picks that up but yeah it basically rains all over the place it is what it is i don't have fenders i like the look i gotta deal with what i gotta deal with but uh that's just one thing to mention if you do have full fenders they're gonna get full of mud <laughs> just to let you guys know well i was gonna do the obligatory jeep snow pile climbing but uh like i said it's in the positives today and it is melting but i'll give you guys a quick clip of some on-road driving with the window open just so you guys can hear the road noise or the lack of road noise I should say so that was just regular driving I'm gonna drop it into neutral for you guys now Like I said, they're whisper quiet. You honestly don't hear them. They're probably quieter, quieter than my road tires that I have on my regular vehicle. They're really soft rubber. Uh, that is actually why they grip so well. They have a lot softer rubber than any other tires that I've owned and any other tires that uh, I've actually went out to look at before buying these. And that's one of the main reasons I bought these is the soft rubber actually grips really, really well. But that's also why I have that chunking and I have a few chunks missing is because they are soft so they do damage a lot easier. So you have to be aware of that. There's, there's trade-offs I guess. They grip super well but if you do go into some super harsh environments like I do once in a while, you can damage them. But it's a trade-off, right? You're going to get yourself out. You're never going to get stuck. The only time I've ever gotten stuck was that one time I had uh, mud all the way up to my door. Other than that, they'll get you through anything. Well, I think that's gonna about cover it for today's video. I don't have really much else to say about the tires. Like I said, they are great tires. I don't have anything bad to say other than they're not great in the wet on pavement and on the rock. Every other scenario, you're gonna be golden. You're gonna be good. You're not gonna get stuck. You're gonna get out. Unless you're like me and you drive into like a four foot deep mud hole, then uh, you're on your own there, buddy. <laughs> Just like I was, but uh, yeah. Definitely guys, these are great tires. I highly recommend them. If you guys are in the market for some mud tires, I definitely tell you guys to go out and pick these up, but they aren't cheap. So take a look, see what your options are. Maybe you can find a used set. They've been making them forever. My first set was like 23 years old. Yeah, I know that I shouldn't have put them on the Jeep, but it is what it is. And they've been making them forever. So you can definitely find them. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, jump down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because there's tons more mods and off-roading videos coming your way. And as you guys can see, she's still filthy because she gets used a lot. So if you guys want to see me take this thing off-roading, we are planning a nice big off-roading trip soon. So definitely jump down there, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, guys, ride safe out there. Peace. Mm -hmm.